the rising sun lights up the Olympic Stadium on the day of the opening ceremony. In a city under a state of emergency, in a country facing a surge in infections, in a world unsure of whether there's much to celebrate. Just 950 people, including only around 15 global leaders, are set to attend the opening ceremony. The Japanese Prime Minister reportedly won't be there, and nor will the director of the ceremony himself. Kentaro Kobayashi was fired on the eve of his big event over a joke he made about the Holocaust in the 1990s. It's the latest in a series of scandals surrounding the Games. The opening ceremony's composer stepped down as well after reports of bullying resurfaced, while two other Tokyo 2020 organizers resigned because of sexist remarks. Perhaps most controversial, though, is the fact it's happening at all. On Thursday, Tokyo reported almost 2,000 new coronavirus cases, its highest total since January. Already, around 90 people involved in the Games, including athletes, have tested positive. The International Olympic Committee says it's determined not to put people at risk. If the Games were cancelled, it would face losses of up to 3.5 billion euros.